Okay, the corners in the base were assembled with top-down modeling so that the assembly happened as we built it and built the components in place. So the rest of the components are going to need to be brought in individually and then assembled with the appropriate joints. So let's start with the screws. So I'm going to first of all pull a screw in and it wants to jam it at the origin so let's just move it so that uh, they're not all sitting on top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring four screws in just like that. Okay, and next I want to flip around because those are the countersunk flathead screws that uh, fit into the back side. So I'm going to go to assemble, select joint, and under the motion tab I'm going to select a rigid joint. So what I want is when I select my position, I all I'm doing is aligning joint origins. So I'm going to select that back ring on the screw with the uh, corresponding ring on the countersunk hole. And that's going backwards, so just flip it. And it looks good. So we'll do that for the other four. Okay, once you got all four screws put in with a rigid constraint, then we'll bring in and we'll insert our first slider. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the slider in, and I'm going to start with the pin slider, because that is the one that goes in vertically. So what I want to do with that, when I do my joint, that's going to be a slider joint. So I'm going to select with the position tab, I'm going to select the midpoint of the slider. And then if I look head on, I'm going to be able to select the origin of the base plate. And that's also the reason that I put the slider in that position. Now if I go to the motion tab and I animate, I can see that that's moving in the wrong direction. So I need to figure out which axis I need to move along. And it's not X, so it must be Y. So now that's animating in the correct direction. So I'll go ahead and say OK. And then I'm going to slide that down out of the way. Next we'll bring in the pin slider. And you can see... Um, I want to rotate that around a little bit, maybe pull it over. So we brought it in place, and now let's go ahead and assemble it. So we'll select, again, a slider joint, and you have to pick where you're going to put it. So I'm going to, on this one, just be, to be careful because there's so many points here that I can't get. So I can't get that, that center point, so I'm going to have to pick the the face of the bottom first and then I can pick the center point okay for that joint selection and again we'll look head on at the top and I should be able to click the origin again it's probably moving in the wrong direction so if I go back to the motion tab and animate let's figure out what axis I need it's probably Y and interesting I need X axis oh there we go yeah I guess I had Y for the other one X for this one and Sometimes the thing that's odd about this, sometimes it, it does agree with the X, Y, Z axis that we see on the view cube, but it doesn't always agree with that, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, we'll go ahead and say OK at this point, and then let's bring in my dowel pin. Okay, so this will get us started working, and if we bring in the dowel pin, that, of course, is going to be a rigid constraint. Go to position, and we want to pick the center of one end of the dowel pin, and then we want to pick the center point of the hole. Okay, so there's my dowel pin. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and put the crank arm in and get this moving. So... We'll go ahead and pull the crank arm in. Let's move it to the side a little bit. And what I'm going to want in my joints on motion is a revolute joint. Go to my position, and I'm going to just click the face. And the pin is on going to rotate around the second hole. And again, I'll do the same thing for the slider. I'm going to pick the face and then pick the joint origin. So now that shows that rotating around on the dowel pin. 
Okay, for my second joint, um, let's see, I'm going to want to rotate this around. So I'm going to define a rotation angle of, say, 90 degrees. And that was the wrong way. Now, I guess that's fine. I, I just need to slide it up through. Because what I need to be able to see is the two sides that go together. So what I need to do um, is assemble joint. Again, I want a revolute. So when I pick my position, I need to pick the back side of the crank arm and then the other center point of the hole. And then let's go to the other slider. And again, pick the surface and then pick the origin, the joint origin. Okay, so now that's revolving just fine. If I did that okay, now when I grab my arm, it is animating just fine. And this has magic glue that holds everything together because obviously we know there's no screw in here yet to hold that tight. So that would kind of be a problem. So what I want to do uh, is put the rest of this together, of course, in a realistic fashion. So I'll bring in my, my pan head screw. I'm going to look at the sides that um, need to be assembled. So that's why I rotated that around. And I'll do a rigid joint. And for my position, I'm going to pick the slider block and then the center point of the hole. And then I want to select this circle on the bottom of the pan head screw. Of course, what is that doing? That's going to screw that tight into it. And uh, we want to make this kind of realistic. So I'm going to do a Z offset of 0.26. So that would give it a 10 thousandths offset. And for some reason that went the opposite direction. So maybe that needs to be, oh, not flipped, but maybe in a negative direction. Because now that's jammed down inside. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's going to have to be, if it goes the wrong direction, flip it or negative, whatever seems to work. And we'll see. That way, that gives me a realistic picture of what this should look like. There needs to be a gap if we're really assembling this. If we screw this down tight, then there, it's not going to be able to move. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with the pan head screw on the crank knob. In fact, we could put these in uh, Fusion, we could put these together in the opposite order. So let's do, oh, I need to bring in a new screw first. So I'm just going to move this up and rotate it so I can see the side that goes together. And it's the same offset on this. So we'll go ahead and do joint, motion, rigid, pick the bottom of the pan head screw, pick the face, pick the face of the link arm, and that's backwards, so let's flip it, and then let's offset it, 0.26. See, that one went in with a positive, so I'm not sure why the other one was negative, but anyways, there we go. Say okay. And then the knob, obviously, would be another revolute. So I really only just need to see the parts where we're assembling it together. So I've rotated that around a little bit. Uh, assemble, joint, motion, revolute, position. I'm gonna pick, if I can get it in one, one selection, I can get the center point on that one, but on the arm, I'm gonna need to pick the face and then the center point. And looks like that needs to be flipped. And there we go. Okay, so that's the assembly. Um, if I want this to look better when it animates, I can turn off the joints uh, visibility. And then the, the, re the first revolute joint on the slider. I think if we play that one, if we right click that and animate the model, I think that'll make it move. And yes, it does. Looking good. So there's the assembly of the Trammel Toy Project.